Hey everyone, from today onwards I am going to start a new series regarding placements because I was getting many requests to upload videos regarding interview tips, regarding campus placement and all, how to prepare for you know getting a placement and internship and all that. So I am going to start a series on this topic. Now today it's the first video, it's not like that, I will cover all the topics, all the I mean important tips and tricks all the preparation strategies in one video only this is just an introductory and overview video later on if i'll get your love and support for this video then definitely i'm going to uh, cover all the topics in this series right right so i'll cover all the you know important topics and tricks and tips regarding interview and placements one by one in later videos right in this video i am going to tell you i am going to uh, give you an overview of how to prepare for campus placement or college placements obviously you are um, maybe in third year or final year and you are preparing for your placements right so how to prepare for that fine now see maybe you are in some good colleges like in tier 1 colleges iits and maybe some one are triple its and uh, nits some are in normal universities, some are in good private universities, right? Some are in normal colleges. So it depends you are in which college because you know in tier one type of colleges, uh, product based companies usually come for campus placement, right? So that is benefit for you and in normal colleges and uh, you know, uh, obviously some good universities also some service based companies mostly comes product based companies don't prefer to come in those colleges right but still if you are in these kind of colleges in private universities or some good private colleges then also you can apply for product based companies i'm going to cover all these topics one by one in this placement series how you can apply for product based companies right now see when company will come to uh, you know your college for conducting the interview then obviously there will be some rounds right and in product based companies there are more rounds than in service based companies interview right so generally I am going to talk about the rounds in this video general rounds so first one obviously that is aptitude round you know aptitude test this is basically just to filter out the students just to filter out the crowd right it's not very tough it's not like that you are preparing for some uh, you know uh, banking uh, clerk or PO type of uh, you know exam and you have to prepare very well and you are just focusing on aptitude and reasoning and all no it's very simple it's not you know like that tough type of questions would be there simply 10 to 15 or 20 days or one month preparation would be enough obviously I'm going to uh, you know uh, make a series on this also each round I will discuss in detail in later videos, right? So after, so after this round, generally uh, we have GD round, group discussion. It depends, maybe uh, in some companies it is not there, maybe after interview, after this aptitude round directly you will go to the technical interview, technical round. And in some companies it is there, that is group discussion. So in this round they will see your communication skill, how confident you are, how confidently you can express your thought, right? How confidently you are going to speak, fine. So we will discuss all the points about this round, group discussion round also in detail, I'll discuss this in later videos, right? The suggestion overview, general overview, fine. After that, it comes to technical round, mostly. In technical round, maybe some companies will give you a proper coding round like two or three hours they'll give you and maybe they'll give you two or three questions and you will have to solve those questions fine and maybe just a interview type of technical round means they'll uh, take the interview only in that interview only they'll ask the uh, questions regarding coding they'll just give you a simple situation and you are uh, supposed to uh, you know write down the code for that situation you are just supposed to write down the logic fine it depends right on company to company which type of company uh, is visiting to your college fine so now basically in this round what they'll check they'll check your core subject knowledge and mainly they'll focus on data structure and algorithm concepts 
you should be very clear you should be very sound in your dsa concepts and you should be able to implement your concepts you should be able to you know uh, apply the logic if they'll give you a particular situation particular problem you can apply the logic you should be a critical thinker right like which data structure you need to use in that case which type of logic which type of approach you are going to follow you have to keep in mind the time and space complexity also your code should be optimized right so the only solution is what practice you need to practice the coding questions there are many platforms and one of uh, the good platform is to uh, you know uh, practice these type of question that is code saga so you can go to codesaga.io website and there you, they'll, they'll give you the ultimate resources to practice for your interview coding interview questions right there you'll get many hand picked coding interview questions there you'll get a video explanation of each questions you'll get a technical assistant support of technical assistant right there also you will uh, get some videos to revise your data structure concepts all these points i'm going to show you in detail right there you will get many questions based on the important topics of data structure like dynamic programming linked list array recursion and all right so now i'm going to show you how you can uh, practice these type of questions right you can select any questions i'm going to select a sample question here right you just read out the problem properly fine and after that you can write down your own code whether in c++ you want to write down in java and python it's up to you you can write down your own code you can run your own code and if you are stuck somewhere then you can check the hints you can click on show and there you will get multiple hints and also you will get uh, the knowledge about optimized time and space complexity analysis of that problem here fine and here you will find out the output of your problem still if you are stuck in that problem after using the hints you are not able to solve that problem you can you can check the video explanation of that question hello guys the welcome to course here fine you can get the theoretical explanation for that question how you are going to solve that after theoretical explanation you can also check the uh, here to we will be seeing the, the previous object that we are by, by the industry experts and the question is properly explained right if you are still not able to solve this question then you can also get help from your dedicated technical assistant they'll provide you a technical assistant and you can get help from that technical assistant fine and here you will get the solution of that question in three languages in c++ in java and python and you can write down your own code also in either in c++ java or python it's up to you fine again you can go to a question list you can select a question you can repeat the same process fine now for this you have to subscribe uh, their package basically they have introduced two packages one is basic and one is pro so in basic you will get access to, to code saga for 6 months and in pro you will get for 1 year and there you will get 100 hand picked coding interview questions and these questions are very good if you, fine there you will get video explanation of each question by industry experts you will get a proper course on data structure you will revise your concepts here in pro you have some extra uh, you know benefits like you can your resume can be reviewed by the experts who are already you know good job fine plus in pro you will get the technical assistant help a dedicated technical assistant would be there for you and you can get your uh, you know uh, your doubt resolution with the help of that technical assistant right so you can go for this i'll provide you the link of this one in my description box you can check out there and there is a code jenny 10 you can uh, see on the screen if you apply this code you will get 10 percent discount on these packages right so i think this would be a very good who are preparing for interviews and i think it's worth to pay for it right because it's a very good platform so you can go for it you can check out the, all the details in my description box right now for implementation of these concepts obviously you should have be very good in any one of the programming language like you can say c plus plus or java or python it's up to you it's not like that you are supposed to be very good in all the languages 
सो यू नीड नॉट टू बी वरी यू नीड टू बी वेरी गुड इन एटलीस्ट वन लैंग्वेज इधर इट सी प्लस प्लस जावा और पायथन सो दैट यू कैन इम्प्लीमेंट योर लॉजिक राइट सो इट डिपेंड्स मे बी विच कंपनी इज विजिटिंग यूर कॉलेज यू यू कैन चेक द बैकग्राउंड ऑफ दैट कंपनी इन विच टेक्नोलॉजी एंड विच लैंग्वेज दैट कंपनी इज वर्किंग सो यू कैन गो फॉर दैट लैंग्वेज और at least one language you should read thoroughly you should be very good in at least one language right now obviously question would be there which language is good so that also we'll discuss in the series one by one all the topics i'm going to cover fine this is just an introductory video now other than this one obviously you should be good in some other subjects like dbms operating system and computer network mostly these subjects and sometimes it's not like that you should be very good in all the dsa concepts like linked list array trees and all dynamic programming and all fine sometimes they'll ask you you are comfortable in which topic so at least prepare one or two topics so that you can you can solve all the problems maybe you will say like you are comfortable in, in linked list so they will give you problem on linked list so you should be able to solve that problem right maybe they will ask you in which subject you are comfortable maybe you can call from these you can call os so you should be very good in that subject so at least try to you know be very good in one subject fine and in some dsa concepts if you are not able to read out all the concepts of dsa if you are not so strong your programming is programming is not so strong so at least try to you know go through at least two or three topics thoroughly and another most important point in this is what sometimes your exact solution doesn't matter here they just want to see your approach which type of approach you are following to solve the questions your speed right they'll see if you you are you are aware about the time and space complexity also if your code is optimized or not right so do not focus that if your code is not exact if you haven't you know properly get the output then oh my god i'll not be selected it's not like that just focus on your approach just try to optimize your code just try to think loud right explain as much as you can to the interviewer so try to communicate with the interviewer while solving the problem sometimes they'll give you the hints right so try to communicate with the interviewer also fine after this round generally we have hr round and sometimes after clearing all the rounds some candidates got rejected in this round also so it's not like that you will take it so easily right although it's not very tough you have to be yourself right you have to be confident fine just you know read out the company before going to this round their background and all they'll ask you many type of question in this uh, hr round like about yourself where do you see yourself 3 uh, years from now or 5 years from now your strength your weaknesses and all many type of question they can ask you in hr round fine so definitely we will discuss each and every round in detail this round also in detail in later videos fine and i have already told you number of rounds depends on company to company right maybe personal interview would be an another round and this coding and coding round would be another round in some type of companies it depends so i think that's uh, it for this introductory video for this placement series now in this series you can tell me in the comment box which type of video you want like maybe how to get into product based company some students wants to know some interview tips some important tips five four five uh, three important tips regarding interview or regarding placements fine many types of videos can be there you can tell me in the comment box so if i get you your love and support on this video definitely i am going to continue the series fine so now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care